Hello and welcome. And my name is Martin. And today we're going to be creating our health bar. We now have uh, up to four enemies that can cause or can create damage once we apply the damage, uh, the give damage or the take damage. Um, so what we want to do is click on this, right click, copy, paste. All right, now that it's there, let's go ahead and call this project six underscore health bar. Okay, and then we're going to double click in there and do the same thing to the project file. Project six underscore health bar. Okay, once that's done, let's double click and enter. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is go into our first person blueprint. Let's go into blueprints and we want to actually create the heads up display for um, for, our, uh, for our health bar. So let's right click and we're going to come down here to user interface and we're going to create a widget blueprint. This we're going to go ahead and call health bar. Health, not health gar, health bar. Okay, and once we've created the widget, let's uh, let's go ahead and double click and go in. And uh, once we're inside the widget, this area right here is going to be called the viewport. If we were to click and drag down, we would actually be able to see different sizes. So depending on what the uh, the largest size that your video game can get to, you might want to readjust that to fit those particular screens. For right now, 1280 by, what was it, 1280 by 720 is fine. All right, so in this area, what we now want to do is uh, come over here to the palettes, uh, palette window and grab a, gra a progress bar. Um, the progress bar, when it comes in, is going to be a little bit too short, so let's go ahead and wind it now. So then that way it looks a little bit better. Um, it doesn't have to take up that much of the screen. Let's make it about this long. Now, you can resize this and reshape it to your heart's content. All right, from there, the next thing we want to do is grab a text, and we're going to drag that in as well. And when the text is selected, you can come over here to its details panel and retype information there. So instead of it being text block, let's go ahead and call this health with a H. And we can reposition this just underneath the bar. Okay. Now with both of those things, every time we click on one, we get to see this kind of looks like a little ribbon thing that's sitting over here. This is called your anchor point. And with this select, what the anchor point does is uh, regardless of the size of the screen that you're working in, uh, this will always show up on that part of the screen. So what I'm going to actually do is move this over here to the, uh, to the right, uh, since these are objects that are closer to the right. I always want to make sure that they end up on the right hand side of the screen. All right, now with those two things done, we actually need to create two variables that we can't do from in here. So let's go ahead and hit compile and save, and let's go create those two variables now. Uh, the two variables are going to actually be placed into first person character. So let's double click into first person character. And here in the variables panel, let's go ahead and click uh, once. And for the first variable, let's call this full health. So full health and uh, we do have to hit compile to be able to get a value for the full health uh, well we actually need to make this a float no nope, it needs to be yep it needs to be a float so let's redo that and okay so with a float we get a number variable and let's type in 100 so the max health that your character can have is 100 uh, from there let's right click and uh, actually, you know what, we'll just create another variable, make sure we don't have any problems. So we'll create another variable and we'll call this one current health. Now, since float was the last thing we created, it will be the, uh, the variable type that's there. So we don't have to retouch that. And we do need to hit compile. And once we've hit compiled, we get our variable for entering in our health value. So we're going to also leave this at the at beginning. The current health would be 100, right? So we start the game. The full health is 100. The current health is 100. Okay, with those two variables created, let's go ahead and hit compile, save. 
and we need to go back into our health bar. So let's close those, uh, double click on health bar and come back to our health bar. In here, what we need to do is actually apply those two values directly to the health bar. So with the health bar selected, we can go into the details panel and inside the details panel, you'll see progress. We're going to create a binding, a function for this health bar. What we're going to tell it to do is look at the current health and subtract from it the, um, uh, or the full health and subtract from it the current health. So let's go ahead and create binding, uh, create plus for binding. And we're going to pull these apart because we're actually going to put a bit of code in here. And off of percentage zero, what we want to do is right click and drag off of it and type in cast to first person character. Okay. Uh, with that there, let's go ahead and click out and type in get player. If I could spell today, get player character. All right. And we want to leave that zero. So it's referring back to the main character. And then off of the first person, we actually need two targets. We need to grab the full health. So full health. So we want to get full health. And then the other thing we want to do is get the current health. So get current health. Okay. And both of those need to be the variables. All right. Now from both of those variables right there, what we need to do is create a percentage between the two of them. Okay. So what we're looking for is to uh, click off of the return value. And what we want to type in is float divided by float. And the reason why it needs to be a float is because these are floats. So the numeric values that we have are actually inside of these floats. And we want to use that to generate the uh, percentage that we are going to create. So uh, to make sure that we do this the right way, we're going to put current health at the top. And then we're going to divide that from the full health. And that should give us a percentage that will look correct in our project. So let's uh, move that over and connect that up. And at this point, everything is ready. So what we'll do now is click on designer and go back into the, uh, go back into the designer part of the project. So let's click there. So with those two things done, we can now go ahead and hit, uh, hit file, save and close this part of the screen. And now what we need to do is actually have this show up on the screen because right now it's there. Um, and it's doing its function, but we can't see it as a player. And go to the uh, first person character, because right now what's happening is that we, we have it there. It's functioning. It's doing its function in the background, but as a player, we're not able to see it. So uh, let's go into our first person, uh, first person blueprint. We are looking for the event begin play. There, as, there is already one on the screen. It won't let you create a second one. So what we need to do, or it frowns upon you trying to create a second one. So what we'll do is right click off of this. Uh, actually, let's do this. We'll go ahead and just break the connection. So let's right click on the node and break the branch connection, which is what it was going to. Uh, from here, we're going to type in sequence. Sequence, and it does matter what order this thing uh, uh, happens in. So we want the this part to be going to the, the second node to be going to the branch, and we want the then zero or the first object to be going here. Now from there, what we needed to do is uh, we need to create a widget. Okay, so it's down there on the last one. So we create a widget. So then that way, when the game starts. Two things happen, this, which is code that was already there. But first, that it is going to create our widget. Let's go ahead and zoom in on that. And we actually need to give it a class. Um, so the class itself would be the, the health bar. So that is the, what we want it to go and look for. And then from here, what we want to do is we want to attach it to the viewport, but it won't go directly because it's a widget. So we need to transfer it into, we need to create a variable for it. And to do that, let's drag off of this and say promote to variable. Once it's been promoted to a variable, you can see I've already done this. So let me delete that one. 
and we're going to select this one and call it health bar reference. So health bar reference. Okay, health bar reference. Once that's been created, we can now officially take this to the viewport. So let's click off of there and type in viewport or add viewport. And with that, we should now have the code to be able to have this health bar show up on the main menu. So let's go ahead and hit compile and save. And uh, let's close this and push play. All right, there's our health bar. Um, at this point, we haven't given these guys the ability to cause damage to us, so nothing is happening to the health bar, but we do have the health bar up and running, and it is available. All right, great. I uh, hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and what we'll be doing in the next tutorial is adding damage uh, or giving the characters the ability to add damage to us, so then that way we can actually see the health bar go up and down. Uh, have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.